While the romantic notion that Papua New Guinea is one of the greatest last frontiers on earth is true, it is also a surprise to many that it is one of the most accessible. Papua New Guinea is a land of incredible natural beauty. At the eastern end of mainland Papua New Guinea, the Owen Stanley Range meets the sea, scattering islands, tiny atolls, coral reefs, swaying palms, and white sandy beaches for hundreds of kilometers. This region is the beautiful Milne Bay province. It's safe, secluded, amazingly friendly, and just a mere two hours flying time from Cairns in Australia. Milne Bay is rich in culture, diverse in wildlife, steeped in history, and surrounded by what many say is the best diving in the world. Come, discover Milne Bay, a very special place. One of the first things you'll notice about Milne Bay is the rich traditional culture. Most island communities are still largely subsistence farmers, living in small traditional villages and fishing the coastal waters. Many groups still participate in trade and travel widely to other islands in their large, seagoing sailing canoes. In most areas, land ownership falls under matrilineal law. Family rights are passed down through the mother. Clan leaders and chiefs are still men, but behind the scenes, women wield considerable power. Witchcraft is also widely respected and still practiced in most areas. And throughout the region, skulls from the dead were placed in skull caves. These caves can still be seen and visited today. In former times, long war canoes were built and paddled by up to 50 warriors to raid enemy villages. Milne Bay hosts a variety of culturally significant festivals each year and the famous Canoe and Kundu Festival is one of the most spectacular. Here, you will see these amazing war canoes in action and experience traditional cultures at its most colourful. Papua New Guinea is one of the last tropical wilderness areas left in the world and Milne Bay is truly a naturalist wonderland. In fact, Milne Bay has been selected by the Papua New Guinea government to be a model province to pilot ecotourism. Most visitors to Milne Bay first arrive in Alatau, the provincial capital. Situated on the northern shore of Milne Bay, Alatau is a laid-back and friendly little town and boasts a variety of accommodation to suit all budgets and tastes. You can also visit the markets, walk the foreshore, or enjoy the views from the hill. A number of full and half-day tours are available and cover a range of special interest activities, including bird watching and bushwalking. Or, you can learn about the famous 1942 World War II Battle of Milne Bay, which was fought between Japanese and Australian forces. The battle was vital to the course of the Pacific War, and there are plenty of war relics around to be seen. The southern shores of Milne Bay are nestled below steeply rising mountains. Stunning panoramic views are available from accommodation overlooking the bay and an adventurous boat trip can be arranged up the Dawa Dawa River. The north coast boasts one of Papua New Guinea's finest resorts, Tawali. Scuba diving is the main focus here and Milne Bay offers absolute world-class diving at its best. Expect coral pinnacles ablaze with fish life dizzying drop-offs, amazing muck diving, elaborate soft corals, and marauding pelagics. The marine biodiversity here is mind-boggling, and the waters are warm all year round. Access to their many pristine sites 
is aboard one of their world-class dive vessels. Or you can dive or snorkel right in front of the resort itself. Otherwise, you might like to get away from it all and experience the thrill of exploring virtually uncharted territories on a liveaboard dive boat. Leaving the mainland and heading further north are the mysterious and beautiful Dontracasto group of islands, including Goodenough, Ferguson and Normanby. Extremely mountainous and covered in dense jungle, the local islanders are largely subsistence farmers living in small traditional villages and fishing the coastal waters. They travel regularly in their large seagoing sailing canoes, trading and exchanging goods with the other islands. Sewa Bay is one of the most picturesque bays in the region. Within its sheltered waters, you can experience traditional village life virtually unchanged for thousands of years. Amazing reef systems, walking trails, clear mountain streams and bird life can be experienced in this truly unsport paradise. Travelling further afield along the island chain reveals the high peaks of Ferguson Island and passing narrow passages into beautiful bays is real modern day exploration. You'll discover hot springs, ancient boiling cauldrons, extinct volcanoes, spouting geysers and a fascinating and friendly people. There is a variety of village guest houses in the region, the perfect grassroots way to experience the local culture. Still further to the north are the Trobrian Islands, the mysterious islands of love, famous for their colourful and unique yam festival. With swishing mini grass skirts slung low on their hips, islanders perform with a seductive and unique dance style. Off the southern tip of the Mumbai mainland is the China Strait and a scattering of many islands. It's said to be one of the most beautiful places in the Pacific. White sandy beaches and swaying palms, traditional cultures and colonial history. Here, you'll find Samurai Island, the former provincial headquarters, which before World War II was the second largest town in Papua New Guinea. Just three kilometers west of Samurai, on Kwato Island, is the famous Kwato Church, built in 1937. It still stands today as a testimony to the missionary of a bygone era. A little further afield on beautiful Dorney Island, is a world-class resort offering guests the ultimate getaway from which to explore the surrounding region and the diverse island itself. Stunning beachfront bungalows accommodate up to six people and the huge dining area boasts a relaxing bar and restaurant. Some of the many idyllic islands also offer village guesthouse accommodation and a true cultural village experience. The warmth and friendliness of the local people is unsurpassed anywhere in the world. Trek to amazing lookouts overlooking the China Strait, or experience traditional clay pot cooking, and share delicious traditional foods with a local family. There is so much to see and do. Milne Bay really does have it all, from mountains and virgin rainforests to deserted islands with white sand beaches and swaying palms. You'll experience breathtaking views, hot springs, diverse cultures, amazing animal and plant life, war relics, trekking, village stay programs and a marine world unsurpassed. The list is endless and on top of this, the province is peaceful, stable and easily accessible. The people of Milne Bay love visitors and invite you to their beautiful piece of paradise. <laughs> <laughs>